But how can light shine without darkness? This duality, light and dark, we associate light with goodness, where we aspire to go, associate darkness with negativity and things we want out of our lives typically. But I challenge you to embrace darkness because without darkness, there would be no need for light. And who's to say that light is good, dark is bad. Without one, there's no other. Oftentimes I run away from the, what I consider darkness. I'm gonna challenge myself today to embrace darkness, to see what's in there, just to move into it, feel it. Maybe not be it, but have compassion for it. Both light and darkness are a part of us. Yin yang. At least for myself, I think I need to embrace that more. Consider this clip to follow. Jungian psychology teaches that it is necessary for us to look at and accept the dark side of ourselves, the shadow side. The theory is that if we ignore or deny this aspect of our humanity, what we judge as negative, we will tend to project onto others. And thus we will produce enemies to fight against. And that this leads to struggle between people and wars between nations. Now, if you would, back up and do that again, one sentence at a time. Because part of it is right on and part of it isn't. We want to show you where it gets off. Okay. Just read it one sentence at a time. Okay, Jungian psychology teaches that it is necessary for us to look at and accept the dark side of ourselves. All right, now stop there just for a moment. Don't lose your place, but stop there for just a moment. There is absolute truth in the understanding that there is contrast in everything. And that if you are not able to identify what is not wanted, you could not begin to identify what is wanted. In other words, contrast is essential to, the, uh, to all experience, not just the human physical experience. Contrast is essential to the non-physical experience, too. Difference is, in the non-physical, there's no pushing against anything, where in the physical there often is. But, so just hold that thought as you proceed. In other words, it is essential to know that when you pick up a stick that has wellness on one end of it, by the perfect contrast that abounds, there must be absence of wellness on the other end of it. If you pick up the stick or subject that says prosperity on one end, there has to be the absence of it on the other end. And you cannot pick up the stick of prosperity without acknowledging the potential for either end of that. Now, go just a little bit further into your next <laughs> sentence. Uh, if we ignore or deny this lack, this aspect of ourselves, which we judge to be negative, we tend to project it onto others. Well, let us tell you why. In other words, if, if you are vibrating, in other words, remember law of attraction that whatever you are vibrating, the universe is delivering to you. There, there are those who talk about everything being a mirror. In other words, it, the people that are coming around me are a, a mirror of that which I am. And that's talking about law of attraction again, isn't it? In other words, our friend just now did not realize that she was not actually vibrating her own desire. But the, the universe was reflecting to her what her actual vibration is. And so what they may be getting at, it is certainly what our understand and knowing about this is, is that if you are offering a vibration of lack and, but you are not, you're not aware that you are doing it, the universe is reflecting that back to you again and again. In other words, you know, from your own observation of things that if, if you are a troublesome being looking for a fight, you can usually find one everywhere you go. Or if you're a loving being looking for positive aspects, the universe is usually showing you more of that. So read that sentence again in that light. Okay, if we ignore or deny this lack... In other words, if we're not aware of what we're vibrating, it's there, but we're not aware of it. Then we would tend to project it. Because we, we're projecting it without knowing we are. And as we're projecting it without knowing we are, then we're getting it from others. Now read the next sentence. And um, 
we would project it onto others and then we would produce enemies yes in other against. words there they are they're coming after us we we don't know that we are the creator of it we don't know that we are the initiator of it with our vibration but here they come now read the next sentence and this would lead to interpersonal conflict yes because and now we're getting all this stuff we do not want and so now we are pushing against it in other words now we are saying boy I sure don't want that and so uh, and the more we push against it the more we get of it now read the first sentence Jungian psychology teaches that it is necessary for us to look at and accept the dark side of ourselves well we would we would take that further we would say it is side. important to understand contrast and it is important in the only in understanding contrast can we ever know what we do want and once we've decided what it is we do want then our work is to vibrate in harmony with what we do want so that then that can become our means of attraction we want to take this a little further because this is very powerful and important because and we believe that this is the heart at the heart of the projection of that philosophy if you do not have any idea how things are coming to you or to others and you're looking around your physical universe even the narrow universe that surrounds you as an individual and you see bad things happening to good people or even you see bad things happening to you bad meaning things you don't want or things that you don't believe you deserve and you don't understand about vibration or about law of attraction or about lining up your own energy then your assumption your logical assumption misguided but still logical assumption is there must be outside influences that have the power of assertion well if there are outside influences that have the power of assertion then I get better get bigger and stronger I'd bet I'd better get more resistant I I'd better I'd better gather my ammunition or my wars war armor or or bombs in other words I must then aggressively push against these things that are going to come and get me war against drugs war against crime war against poverty war against war against people pushing against things that they fear are going to seep into their experience if they don't and what they don't realize is that there is no such thing as exclusion in other words you cannot push anything away because in your pushing at it you are looking at it and at your in your looking at it you are including it in your vibration and as you include it in your vibration it lowers the vibration of your being and keeps you from the well-being that is a vibrational match to the higher vibration there have been endless philosophies looking for all kinds of different ways of imparting this to our physical friends and this is one such philosophy is it making more sense now mm -hmm. is there something left undone no I wanted to kind of reconcile this with what you were what, what Abraham's does teaching, it feel so. reconciled yes it does mm -hmm. what you begin to discover as you as you probe a little bit into these philosophies is that often it is that it is the same thing that they are expressing but they were expressing it in a different time under different circumstances and it's very easy to hear it and think that it's saying something actually opposite of what it is saying 